Welcome back, mandolin player. That melody that you just heard me play at the beginning of this video is one called Avalon, and it was made famous by a singer named Al Jolson in 1920 when it topped the charts at number two in the United States of America. This song has since kind of become a standard in the world of gypsy jazz and American Western swing and swing music, so it's definitely a must-know tune if you're looking to play a little bit of swing mandolin, right? Before I go any further, though, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button below so you get notifications whenever we post a new lesson. Also, if you're interested in kind of expanding the learning process and speeding it up a little bit, definitely check out the link to Mandolin Secrets Academy below. There you'll find PDFs of all the tablature and sheet music to the things that we're going to be discussing in this and all of our other lessons. So if you're looking at the PDF that came along with this lesson, you'll notice that this song is in the key of F, right? We've got one flat in our key signature, and it uses uh, what's typically referred to as a circle of fifths chord progression. We've got a 2-5-1 right at the beginning of this tune in the key of F, G minor 7 to C7 to F. Um, and we throw a D7 in there later that's actually a 5-1 resolution uh, back to the G minor chord. So a lot of just 5-1 resolutions in this tune. Now you may be wondering why I'm talking about this. The 5-1 the and the 2-5-1 resolution are really important chord changes to learn how to navigate in jazz music. So this can be a great tune for you if you're just kind of uh, a beginner or an intermediate level jazz player and want to learn some tunes that will give you uh, good chord changes to practice those jazz vocabulary licks and phrases over top of, okay? Before we look at the simple version of this melody, let's go ahead and take a look at the full performance again just so you can get an idea for the feel of this tune. Now that you've got a little bit of uh, background on the tune and some of the mechanics behind what we're doing in this lesson, let's go ahead and dive in. Before we take a look at that sixth version of the melody, I want to present here a, a simple version of the Avalon melody. This is kind of similar to how you would find it written in sheet music. It's very straight, no syncopation, and all we're looking for here is to just gain a solid idea for what the melody to the tune is. Like I said, this is something uh, close to what the singer would sing. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, here's that simple melody for Avalon at 160 beats per minute. A one, two, a one, two, three. Let's go ahead and look at that version on our PDF that's titled Harmonized Melody Syncopated. Now this is the exact same version of the melody in the left hand, except for the fact that we're shifting some of our notes forward or backward by an eighth note. 
This has been done uh, kind of specifically by me in order to make the tune sound a little bit more typical to what a jazz player would play this like. It's very uncommon for jazz players to just take a melody and play it straight on the beat. Um, jazz is known, right, for its syncopation and its really um, kind of driving rhythmic feel. And doing this to your melodies uh, can kind of help it sound a little more inside of the jazz vernacular, per se. So let's go ahead and dive into this version. We'll play it at 80 beats per minute, and we'll see you on the other side. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now that you know how to play the syncopated version of the harmonized melody, let's go ahead and take that and play it at double the speed. Now, if you can't keep up with me right now, that's no big deal. I understand that you're just learning the tune. The reason I want to play this at uh, 160 beats per minute, though, is so you can see what the tune sounds like at full tempo. When you slow these syncopated versions of the melody down, sometimes they lose a little bit of their forward momentum. So I just want to give you an idea of what this tune could sound like after you've practiced it a little bit. So let's go ahead and dive into that version. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, my friend, I hope you enjoy listening to that tune at full tempo, and maybe you were able to follow along with me a little bit there to kind of see how that tune feels at full speed. If not, don't worry though, just stick with the tune at 80 beats per minute or even slower if you need, and gradually increase the tempo on your metronome until it's a little more comfortable for you. All right, my friend, that's about it for this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed learning the melody to the tune Avalon here, and stick around because we've got more jazz lessons like this coming out in the future here on Mandolin Secrets. All right, take it easy, have fun practicing, and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.